Tired of tangled cords and unreliable power? Imagine a world where your devices charge wirelessly, powered by the roads beneath your feet. This project lets you build your own miniature RF road tile, a key component in Maxwell's revolutionary wireless power grid, transforming Africa's energy landscape. Across towns, rural villages, and even deserts, something extraordinary is happening in Africa. Maxwell Chikambutso's wireless power grid is being hailed as one of the most promising innovations of the 21st century. It offers hope to millions without stable access to electricity, and it promises a sustainable, decentralized, and affordable energy future. But how does it work, and more importantly, how can you build a piece of it at home? This guide is your step-by-step -step blueprint to build a DIY mini RF road tile, letting you experience the magic behind the grid firsthand. By engaging in this hands-on project, you'll not only build something cool, but also gain a deep understanding of how wireless power transmission can shape our future. Maxwell's vision starts with a simple idea. Roads that aren't just for transport, but for energy. These roads are embedded with special tiles, RF road tiles that capture and transmit energy wirelessly. As vehicles pass over them, these tiles collect kinetic and radio frequency energy, convert it, and then transmit it to nearby receivers or storage units. In our miniature version, you'll replicate this core principle using household and easily accessible components. Before diving into the build, it's crucial to understand the big picture. Africa has long struggled with uneven access to energy, with over 600 million people still lacking reliable electricity. This shortage affects education, healthcare, farming, business, and nearly every aspect of daily life. Maxwell's wireless power system bypasses traditional centralized infrastructure, using road tiles and transmitters instead. It is an innovation deeply rooted in the needs of African communities, particularly those off the grid. It's a system that turns roads into power plants, creating clean, free, and decentralized electricity. Now let's bring that innovation into your own hands by understanding the RF tile itself. An RF tile is a smart, layered platform that contains coils, capacitors, and circuitry. It operates on principles of electromagnetic induction and resonance, much like a wireless phone charger but on a larger and more durable scale. The tile needs to do three things well. Capture energy, convert it, and transmit it wirelessly. Our mini version replicates these steps using copper wire, magnets, capacitors, and transmitter modules. We'll guide you to build a palm-sized RF tile capable of lighting up an LED wirelessly. The educational value is immense. You'll witness wireless energy transmission in action. You'll learn concepts like induction, alternating current, wave frequency, and resonance tuning. And by understanding the components and the physics, you'll appreciate the real-world application of these tiles in Africa. Let's start with the core materials you'll need for your miniature RF road tile. You'll need a small square of wood or plastic, 10 centimeters x 10 centimeters, copper wire, 0.5 millimeters or thinner, neodymium magnets, an LED, a small capacitor, and a wireless transmitter module like the 433 megahertz RF module. A soldering iron, glue gun, multimeter, and small plastic box will also be useful for assembly and testing. Step one, begin by creating a flat base using your wooden or plastic tile. Step two, carefully wind your copper wire into a tight coil. This will act as your energy capturing inductor. Wrap the wire in a spiral pattern, keeping the turns evenly spaced and tight to the surface. Step three, leave enough length of wire at both ends for connecting to your circuit. Step four, Fix the coil onto the surface using a glue gun to ensure it stays in place. Step 5. Place small neodymium magnets under the coil if you're simulating kinetic energy conversion. These magnets help induce current as a metal object passes over them or vibrates nearby. Step 6. Solder one end of the copper coil to the positive terminal of the capacitor. Step 7. Solder the other end to the transmitter's input terminal and connect the capacitor's other terminal to the transmitter's ground. Step eight, connect your power source. This could be a 9V battery to power the transmitter circuit. Step nine, now on a separate board, build a small receiver circuit with a corresponding inductor coil, a diode, and an LED. 
Step 10. Position the receiver coil above or beside the transmitter tile and power up the system. You'll see the LED light up, wirelessly powered by your mini RF road tile. That's your first proof that wireless energy can be harnessed with simple materials. This setup emulates the larger technology deployed on Maxwell's roads, scaled for learning. Now let's troubleshoot and improve efficiency. If the LED flickers or doesn't light up, adjust the distance between transmitter and receiver coils. Try increasing the number of copper windings or using a larger capacitor. Make sure all your solder joints are solid and that the power source provides adequate voltage. You'll notice the best results occur when the two coils are closely tuned to each other's frequency. That's the principle of resonant inductive coupling, the heart of Maxwell's wireless grid. In his full-scale implementation, RF tiles are embedded under real asphalt, layered in weatherproofing and insulation. They communicate with mobile devices, vehicles, and nearby homes using embedded antennas. The energy captured is often stored in roadside supercapacitors or transmitted to nearby base stations. This model forms a decentralized microgrid that feeds into a broader wireless power web. Unlike conventional grids, there's no need for poles, wires, or transmission towers. It dramatically cuts infrastructure costs while boosting accessibility and scalability. Imagine a rural village receiving energy simply by paving a small road segment with these tiles. No digging for cables, no waiting for national utility connections, just road and power. Maxwell's team has demonstrated this in pilot programs across Malawi, Nigeria, and Kenya. In each location, roads are not just used for transport, they are sources of power. The model works in tandem with local solar installations, batteries, and wireless distribution points. Power is transmitted to schools, clinics, homes, and water pumps. Children charge their tablets from sidewalks. Ambulances recharge while driving. Farmers use wireless-powered irrigation tools connected to the tile grid. In your hands, the mini RF tile represents all of this innovation in seed form. What you've built is a proof of concept that mimics a $100 million national infrastructure shift. It's a compact, educational, and eye-opening device. Now, let's experiment further with your tile. Try placing a phone with wireless charging capability directly above the tile and observe. While your mini tile likely lacks the wattage to charge it fully, you may notice magnetic interference. That's evidence of induction in progress, a window into the larger potential of this tech. If you want to boost your tile's output, consider using a Joule Thief circuit to draw power from weak sources. Or build an array of these tiles in series to multiply their output. One tile may light an LED, but 10 could charge a small capacitor bank. Add solar panels to supplement the input and build a hybrid renewable mini-grid. These are the same principles being scaled in Maxwell's wireless grid across African regions. He is encouraging makers and engineers like you to build, experiment, and iterate. Because every breakthrough in technology starts with hands-on learning. Your journey from DIY builder to energy innovator mirrors what's happening continent-wide. Villages are building their own future with knowledge, not waiting for outside help. And each wireless tile installed brings us closer to a clean, resilient Africa. This is not science fiction, it's science in action. And by starting with your DIY project, you're not just building a tile. You're building awareness. You're building capability. You're building Africa's energy revolution from the ground up. In section two, we'll explore advanced applications, larger builds, and how this technology is scaling at the national level. We'll also look into safety, sustainability, and how communities can replicate Maxwell's model affordably. Because the future of energy isn't just about power, it's about empowerment. And it starts with something as small and powerful as your miniature RF tile. You've now built a miniature RF road tile and seen the concept of wireless power come to life. This second section dives deeper into advanced experimentation, real-world applications, safety, sustainability, and the future scaling of Maxwell's wireless power grid in Africa. The journey from DIY builder to system innovator requires understanding how to expand and adapt your miniature model. Let's begin by enhancing your mini RF tile to produce more consistent and higher output. One effective method is to create a multi-tile array, 
linking several coils in parallel or series to amplify inductive effects. This means you can build multiple identical tiles and connect their outputs to a central power capacitor. Using a larger storage capacitor rated for 16V or higher, you can accumulate charge from the energy harvested. This allows you to power small devices such as wireless sensors or environmental monitoring tools. Another improvement is using a regulated power source instead of batteries to stabilize the transmitter circuit. A 12V DC adapter offers a consistent voltage supply, which boosts coil performance and minimizes signal loss. Experiment with tuning the resonance frequency of your circuit by using different capacitor values. Use a frequency generator and oscilloscope, if available, to fine-tune the match between transmitter and receiver. This tuning ensures maximum energy transfer between the coils and improves overall efficiency. If you don't have an oscilloscope, use trial and error by observing which capacitor values give the strongest LED glow. As your skills grow, consider embedding your coils into resin for durability and water resistance. This mimics the conditions in real roads, where RF tiles are sealed to withstand weather, pressure, and vibration. In actual African deployments, tiles are built using recycled plastic, layered epoxy, and flexible printed circuits. These materials offer heat resistance and long-term performance in outdoor environments. You can replicate this durability at home by pouring clear epoxy over your coil and allowing it to cure. It protects your components and gives your tile a professional, sleek finish. Beyond physical improvements, let's explore how your DIY tile fits into larger power distribution systems. Maxwell's wireless grid isn't just a set of disconnected tiles. It's a smart, interconnected ecosystem. Each tile in his grid has a tiny microcontroller that manages signal synchronization and energy routing. They communicate via low-power wireless protocols such as Zigbee or LoRa to form a mesh network. This means energy generated by one tile can be routed intelligently to where it's needed most. In your expanded setup, try adding a microcontroller like an Arduino or ESP32 to monitor and log energy output. Connect voltage sensors to your capacitor bank and display real-time voltage on an OLED screen. This gives you a visual sense of energy harvested and can inspire data-driven experimentation. You'll start to see patterns in output based on coil size, wire turns, distance, and material type. Try placing metallic objects or vibrating motors near the coil to simulate vehicle motion. This mirrors the concept used in roads where moving vehicles generate electromagnetic pulses. You can even simulate wireless charging of electric scooters or small RC cars by embedding receiver coils in their base. Now let's discuss safety, an essential topic in any power transmission system. Even though your DIY tile works with low voltage, the principles of RF energy can pose hazards if scaled incorrectly. Always use heat-resistant and non-conductive materials when sealing your components. Ensure wires are insulated and connections are protected from moisture and handling. If testing higher voltage systems, wear rubber gloves and goggles and always work in a ventilated area. For long-term installations, use grounding wires and surge protection to prevent equipment damage. Maxwell's full-scale systems employ layered safety designs with circuit breakers, insulation layers, and thermal sensors. They are built to withstand floods, extreme heat, and foot or vehicular pressure. Scaling up to real-world applications, let's look at how communities are adopting this technology. In Kenya, a pilot project laid RF tiles in a remote village road and connected it to a nearby clinic. The tiles captured energy from motorcycles and passing trucks, transmitting it to a local power bank. This bank then distributed clean electricity to the clinic for lights, refrigeration, and medical equipment. In Malawi, school pathways were embedded with tiles that allowed students to charge digital tablets wirelessly. In Nigeria, small agricultural cooperatives began using tile-powered water pumps to irrigate their crops. The adoption is driven not just by innovation, but by necessity. Africa faces power shortages, load shedding, and expensive infrastructure maintenance. RF road tiles offer a modular, scalable solution that doesn't require centralized power lines or expensive substations. They empower communities to generate and manage their own energy locally. That's where your DIY tile becomes more than a science project. It becomes a tool for social impact. 
Imagine rural schools using student-made tiles to understand electricity while also charging their devices. Or a neighborhood workshop using tile prototypes to pitch a community energy project to donors. The possibilities are endless when open source learning is paired with localized empowerment. Maxwell's team supports these grassroots projects by providing schematics, development kits, and mentorship. He believes that building Africa's power future must include those living in energy poverty. It's not about importing technology, it's about building it from within with open collaboration. Your tile can become a platform for innovation, adding solar hybrids, motion sensors, and wireless communication. Students can compete to see whose tile charges more efficiently or integrates the most features. Makers can host workshops teaching RF concepts while helping villagers build real microgrids. Each small innovation moves the continent forward by one step. But the wireless grid isn't limited to roads. It's evolving rapidly into smart city applications. In Ghana, sidewalks, embedded with RF coils, now charge mobile kiosks and lights. In Rwanda, bike lanes are laced with tiles that power road sensors and traffic lights. Soon, Vehicles equipped with wireless receivers will recharge while driving. This reduces the need for fuel stations or charging depots, especially in off-grid regions. It also paves the way for clean transport, electric tuk-tuks, delivery bikes, and even ambulances. To explore that vision at home, embed your mini tiles into model train tracks or toy car paths. Watch as vehicles with receiver coils glow with LED lights as they pass over the tiles. It's a vivid way to show how movement becomes electricity and roads become power sources. Advanced hobbyists can install voltage regulators and USB ports into their prototypes. This allows the tile to power actual devices like mobile fans or flashlights. In real installations, Maxwell's tiles have powered vaccine refrigerators, laptop banks, and community radios. The wireless grid becomes not just a technical achievement, but a lifeline. Now let's talk about sustainability. Maxwell's team is pioneering tiles made from plastic waste, old circuit boards, and e-waste materials. This transforms urban waste into infrastructure and reduces environmental impact. You can replicate this by using recycled wood, salvaged wires, and broken electronics. The goal is to demonstrate that the future of energy can be both green and circular. As your knowledge deepens, you may consider building larger tile networks, perhaps a driveway length strip. Use solar panels to charge your RF tiles during the day and use that stored energy at night. Add a Bluetooth module to allow your phone to monitor power stats or create a solar tile hybrid charger for small devices and lanterns. Build a wireless charging mat that powers your desk without cords. Each experiment brings you closer to the frontier of energy innovation. Maxwell envisions a continent where entire highways generate power for vehicles and homes. Where cities are powered from the ground up, literally. Where children learn about energy not from textbooks, but from the tiles they step on. That's why this DIY guide matters. It bridges the gap between theory and practice, between the future and now. Your miniature tile may not power a hospital, but it might inspire the person who does. It might help you teach a class, pitch an idea or win a competition. It might make you realize that even the smallest spark can light up a village. So keep testing, improving, building, document your results, share them online, join global maker forums, tag your projects and reach out to Maxwell's innovation teams. Be part of the wave that's not just electrifying Africa, but transforming it. Because when energy is wireless, learning is limitless. And when power is decentralized, freedom is amplified. This is the spirit of Maxwell's vision, and now your hands hold a piece of it. Not just a coil and capacitor, but a symbol of what's possible. You've learned the science, built the prototype, and imagined the future. Now go further, build for your street, your school, your country. Africa's wireless power grid is no longer a dream. It's being built, piece by piece, tile by tile, hand by hand. And it started right here with a spark, a vision, and a tiny tile that hums with potential. Welcome to the energy revolution.